Hello guys, so today's review is going to be basically on the K95 mechanical keyboard from Corsair. So I own this keyboard, I personally, I love it. So I, before I actually get into too much of the review, I thought I'd mention that I actually, before oh, before owning the Corsair, I owned the, the Razer uh, Chroma 2. Uh, or the Black I actually own that one and the Black Widow. Um, and I'm going to explain a bit more afterwards on those. But I also thought I mentioned that I don't only own Corsair stuff. Like, I, I, only, I own a Corsair keyboard, um, a Logic mouse, and a HyperX Cloud 2 headphones. So, I'm not... I'm not defending them at all. I'm just giving you my personal opinion. So first off, I would like to mention that um, it's got these Cherry MX mechanical switches, which makes it one of the fastest keyboards out there. Um, it, it's very quick. These are all the really the specs and stuff that I thought I mentioned. Um, it's got these launch code things, and basically, if you don't want to click, if you you're in a game and you want to go to the map, and the map is M. So you gotta take your hand, which are usually on the WASD shift and space. You gotta move it all the way to the M. Now that makes it that could kind of get you off your game a little bit. It seems kind of dumbish, but little things like that can sometimes cause problems. So you could just map it to one of these, which are much closer. And if you can imagine, I mean, imagine going to a P, very difficult, or an I. It it, it can be very annoying. Um, it's also got a ton of tunnel lighting options i'm going to show you that a bit more afterwards once i get over the specs and stuff so it's um it's also got the uh, little usb port in the back of the the keyboard which can be used for whatever you want um it's also got eight megabytes of storage and that basically makes allows you to make as many profiles as you want so before I get into the next part, I thought I want to I want to show you the utility engine. So this is what comes with the keyboard, and this is the customizable the customization that usually everybody's talking about. See, right now I got my personal profile that I called Fun for some reason, and everything changes color, including the Corsair, which it doesn't really show it for some reason, but it is changing color. So. Not only that, but if I click this little guy, I can change the profile. And it's not only one or two, it's it's all of them. So this is the, the one that comes with the computer. I personally don't really like it, but I mean, again, you could customize it as much as you want. Like, there's so much customization with this thing, it's unbelievable. And I mean, look, it's not the main reason why I'd buy a keyboard, but it's definitely a perk. It's it it really has an effect. So so yeah. Another thing is that um, so yeah, it shows you all the colors and what's gonna be next on top of the thing, which is kind of cool. And if you see here, it's got like I can lock the Windows key. So when I click Windows, see now it works. I click the button. I'm I'm hitting Windows and it does nothing. It's kind of helpful, actually. I've, I've clicked the Windows key a lot by accident and got myself killed. Um, also, it seems to be a very popular question for some reason, but this button here definitely makes you change the brightness. Um, also, see, if you look on here, there's no bottom part. Now, that's because there's this. All this part, this is actually a pad for your wrist, which can actually make it a bit more comfortable because usually there's like a drop, and it's kind of I always have it on. It's it's great. Um, you can easily take it off, easily put it on. It's very easy. Um, what's love, what's great about this keyboard is that it's the customization, the speed, and really the comfortability. Now most people compare it to the Razer. Now this is what I was trying to say at the beginning of the video. The thing is. I, I used to own the Razer, and as much as I like Razer, they're the cool, they're a good company. The keyboard, I personally don't like it. I, I seriously like the Corsair more because, first off, you see these these are to skip your music and to play or whatever. You actually sometimes I've seen it even in games. Now, this is a great reason why I like it over this. Same thing with this. I don't have to go. And change my sound 
I don't have to go and change the music. I don't have to go and lower the brightness. All of this makes it much, much easier to do what I want to do. I mean, yeah, it's got night mode and whatever. I could shut it down easy. And I believe these are actually the skipping, but it's on top of the F5, F6, and F7. Meaning that while you're you're playing, you can actually misclick and screw this up. While if you have it like this, it's just an easy click. It's an easy way to lower or raise your volume. There's a lot of perks to it. And I don't know why Razer does this, but they focus so hard on the colors. And I'm sorry, if I'm playing a game, I would rather see the keys and not the outline around the keys. It doesn't show it very well here on this picture, but if you look at the keys, the keys aren't as visible as on the Corsair. It's more covered, meaning that the keys are much, much darker, and it's more difficult to actually see it. Stupid iTunes. <laughs> um, another thing is that the Razer, I find, is like it has more cables, and it would use up all my USB ports, and I found that very annoying. The Corsair 2 has, uh, it has only two, where the the Razer, I swear, I believe it has two USB ports, the microphone jack, and an earphone jack. I don't know why it needs those, but it needs it. And I, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I swear it actually uses four USBs. That's still double the amount of cables as the Corsair, so it makes it more difficult, and it's, it, it requires more stuff. Plus the, the engine... I used to own a lot of Razer stuff, and I still, to this day, don't find it as easy as the Corsair. So, there's that. So, I know I'm getting a little bit long on this video, but I think, honestly, the Corsair, I adore, I love the Corsair more. And it's definitely become my favorite keyboard. Um, I put the, I'm, I'm putting the, the links to where you can buy the Corsair and the, the Razer on... It's, it's currently on Amazon, and usually there's a lot of deals on there, and it's going to be in the description below. Please tell me which one you go for. Um, this is my opinion. Tell me if you bought it, which one you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please ask. I love answering questions, all right? So if you need anything, just ask, and have a good rest of the day. See you guys.